in general, finding eigenvalues is difficult. There is a situation, though, where finding eigenvalues is quite simple. That's when you have triangles or matrices. The eigenvalues of a triangular matrix are its diagonal elements. Remember that a matrix is triagonal or triangular if all, either all of the numbers above the diagonal or all of the numbers below the diagonal R is zero. So here's an upper triangular matrix because all the numbers below the diagonal are zero. And our claim is that these diagonal elements are the eigenvalues. So remember to, that to be an eigenvalue, there has to be a non-zero vector x such that AX equals lambda X. We'll pull the lambda X to the left. Our goal is to pull an X out we can multiply an i in. Multiplying by the identity matrix doesn't do anything. So lambda is an eigenvalue if and only if there are non-zero solutions to this thing. Well, A minus lambda I, Lamb I has just ones down the diagonal. Lambda I has lambdas down the diagonal. So A minus lambda I puts A minus lambda in each of these diagonal elements. And to solve A minus lambda I times X equals zero, we create an augmented matrix. We augment this with the zero vector. Now, this matrix is already in row echelon form. Our theorem that we're using here well, this definitely has solutions. There's no possibility that this last column is a pivot column. It has infinite 
solutions if there are three variables, at least one free variable, and it has only the trivial solution if there are no free variables. And we need a non-trivial solution for lambda to be an eigenvalue. So lambda is an eigenvalue if we're in this situation. We have three variables if one of our columns is not a pivot column. How could a column not be a pivot column? Well, in ordinary situations, if this is non-zero, this is a pivot position. If this is non-zero, this is a pivot position. If this is non-zero, this is a pivot position. And all of the columns have pivot positions and all of the variables are basic. On the other hand, if A minus lambda were zero, then this first column would not be a pivot column. And we would have a free variable. So that happens if A minus lambda is zero, or if A equals lambda. Similarly, if D equals lambda, the second column is not a pivot column, and there are infinitely many solutions. If F equals lambda, this third column is not a pivot column. So there are three values of lambda that give us infinitely many solutions and therefore give us non-trivial solutions. And these are therefore the eigenvalues, just like we wanted.